Robert, Matt, it really all goes back to uh, the founder, Fritz Hoffman LaRoche, doesn't it? It does. He uh, started this company as a cough syrup maker in the late 1800s. Uh, fast forward to 1948, basically the family, to keep control of the company, creates this huge voting block. And the way we were able to find all these hidden billionaires to actually infiltrate how that voting block is held. And so in that, we knew there were five billionaires already and found seven more. Uh, public company, so what? I guess this is this is all documented. You have to pour through documents to actually find the names in the voting block. Is you that have right? to do that, and you have to actually go back and look at some of the deals. The voting block basically says it exists. They own something called bearer shares, which means if you hold this share, that's the only way you're able to actually control the company. The bearer shares control the company. Are they still physical, by the way, even they in this day and age? They are actual physical. Yes, no they're still physical bearer shares. There are 160 of them. Um, they own the family basically controls about 50 percent of the voting rights all through the bearer shares. Um, and what we had to do is go and look at deals about um, how one daughter actually left the voting block and then applied Swiss inheritance law, which basically says that when the mother died, she would have to give those shares out equally to find the other four. Amazing. Uh, so a lot of sleuthing work. By the way, how long did this take you? Uh, this story's been over for about six months. Six, six months, months to uh, sniff these people out. Um, any, uh, any, any standouts uh, among these uh, 12? Well, what's fascinating is this is a company that's got 48 $49 billion in revenue, the stock's gone up 13% this year, and yet you really don't know anything about these people. Eight right. of the 12 billionaires, you can't find their age. Um, one of them we know helps or run or operate a jazz club in Basel. Um, they live really? all across Europe, um, but you really don't know very much about them. Couldn't find a picture uh, of any of them. Um, they're quite mysterious. I mean, quite this, anonymous. Is, this is old school Swiss wealth, right? That's right. Keep it very quiet. Hidden wealth, it's old money. Uh, this is money that's a centuries old dynasty, um, and they've done a very good job. Of, of keeping their names out of the head. Um, hey, any, any evidence like, you know, the DuPont clan used to uh, sort of intermarry with one another, cousins would marry cousins to try to con I mean, seriously, uh, any no, evidence no, of? No evidence that I know of, no. Uh, fascinating. And, and what, by the way, prompted you to, to try to uh, sniff this out in the first place? Well, we look for hidden billionaires all the time. We found more than 100 in the past year. Um, and so what we're trying to do is when, when you see a wealthy family or you know about a wealthy family, how can you going in and actually find all the individuals within those families. So and by the way, try and I, I imagine they don't appreciate your your phone calls. What what they say when you called them to try to get in? If you look at the story, there's actually three or four paragraphs about no comment. So uh, every single one of them declined to comment.